So guys, today we are talking about Chrome extensions, which on the face of it doesn't sound like the most interesting topic, but I'm willing to bet that by the end of this video, if you don't have Chrome, you're going to really, really want it. And if you do, this could change your life. So the first one is called Turn Off The Lights. If you're ever on a site which is primarily video based, it could be YouTube, it could be Vimeo, then simply tapping on this little switch will automatically black out everything else. It'll bring your attention completely to the video at hand and it's very easy if you want to get rid of it. You simply tap somewhere else with the mouse and it'll disappear. But in that time, it becomes a very immersive viewing experience. So then we've got privacy and they were kind enough to sponsor this video, but of course that is not gonna change my opinions at all. And this is a very, very interesting product because there's a bit of a problem with online transactions, as well as any hacker who manages to get hold of their information. And what privacy does to get around this is every time you're involved in a transaction, it'll essentially create a virtual credit card number and it will send the money over through that which means that not only is the transaction not at all traceable back to you if anyone gets hold of those details, but it also means a lot of other interesting things. For example, all of those super annoying 30-day trials you sign up for, the ones that sort of auto-renew at the end of a certain period, this one can mean you never get charged for them. So if you pay for these things using a virtual card, then as soon as that 30-day trial is up, because you've signed no money to this virtual card and it cannot be traced back to you, you don't get charged a thing and the service will just automatically stop. Another useful thing is that if you do get this Chrome extension, it'll automatically detect you're checking out from a certain store and within two clicks, it can completely fill out the random card details. So then there's Gmail offline. You could call this an extension or you could call this an application you can run within Chrome. Either way, it is a complete lifesaver. So what it does is it archives all of your online emails so you can read them offline. So it means you can even search for past emails while you have no internet connection. And the best bit is you can reply to current emails. So as soon as you return to somewhere with internet access, the emails just start sending by themselves. Then we have the Great Suspender. I mean, it's a pretty dramatic name for a Chrome extension, but what it does is rather useful. So when you've opened a lot of tabs, if you're like me, sometimes I have 30 open at one point in time, Chrome can be a huge memory hog. And what the Great Suspender does is it can suspend or freeze certain tabs when you're not using them. You can set a rule so that if a tab has been inactive for the last 30 minutes, it's completely frozen. And the best bit is, is this is not the same as closing the tab. You're not losing the information on there. Simply returning to that tab, clicking anywhere on it, and you can resume exactly where you left off. Next up is Noisly, and this isn't exactly offering anything groundbreaking in terms of features, but what it is doing is bringing these features so that they are literally one click away. So when you tap on the Noisly icon, it brings up a whole series of natural sounds. These could be sounds used to calm you if you want to relax, or alternatively, there's certain ones which help you with concentration. It's a bit of a different Chrome extension, not your typical one, but it could be fun for a lot of you guys. So then we have Mercury Reader, which is an extension that actually helped me get through my final year of university. Simply in one click, it turns any article, any online newspaper into a completely readable format. It removes all the clutter so you can concentrate on what you really should be concentrating on, but more impressively, it completely rejigs the format. It changes the spacing between the text, it changes the font, it does a lot of little tweaks which actually make the whole experience far more enjoyable to read. Now the next one I have to say is something which I think is drastically increasing in importance. This is called Unshortened URL. Now the name should give it away, but essentially if you're ever clicking on a shortened URL created by goo.girl or bit.ly, then what this does is it deciphers that link. It'll give you an intermediate page after clicking on these shortened links where it first of all lengthens the web page so it shows you the full address so it doesn't take you to some malware website, but at the same time it does a quick assessment. It'll tell you if it recommends you go to the page or if it recommends you don't. And then we've got Jot, which is a complete departure from all the extensions shown so far because essentially it does absolutely nothing you can't do elsewhere but it is still a rather useful little thing. After installing and enabling the extension, every time you open a new tab, you're presented with a Jot page. And on this page, you've kind of got a temporary Word document. So when you are scrolling through the internet, compiling information, a lot of the times it's nice to have one of these tabs where you can just make notes. On top of that, it's far more aesthetically pleasing than the default option for a new tab. Every time you enter the tab, the wallpaper completely changes. It's got this really nice, well-spaced out, minimalist font. Looks really, really good. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I've got tons more content like this. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to smash that subscribe button. And with that being said, I'm Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.